All right, Tina, three o'clock. You ready to get started, Zoe? Yeah, All right. Mama, pink and blue are good colors. Pink and blue are good colors. Those are good colors. All right, wave at everybody, say hey. Hi. All right. So today we're going to be making an abstract structure. So what that is, is a little guy made out of cardboard. So if you check out the supplies I have here, um, I've just got some repurposed cardboard. And um, you can take that off of any kind of box you want. You can, uh, you know, a lot of people have Amazon boxes or uh, if you don't have the kind that's, um, that's not printed on, you can use paper and cover it. Or if you have really thick paint, sometimes that'll cover it. And then I've got some paper here. So you can use construction paper, cardstock, uh, any kind of colored paper. If you don't have colored paper, that's okay too. You can use white paper and color it, which is very, very fine. Uh, you're gonna need your safety scissors for cutting the cardboard and the paper. Um, some paint to color the cardboard. Again, if you don't have paint, you can use markers, you can use crayons, color pencils, or again, you can glue the paper on top of your cardboard and uh, to decorate it that way. And then I have some pipe cleaners here, paint brushes for my paint, some glue sticks, googly eyes, and some pom-pom. So uh, use what you have. Uh, if you got glitter, glitter's great. You got glitter glue. Zoe loves glitter glue, so this is hers over here. Um, I use the Creatology paint here. It comes in a little pouch. You can um, you can get almost any kind of color. Or there is a Craftsmart pack that I'll show you that has tons of different colors and is really easy to use. So if you do lots of painting, that can be really fun too. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is take your recycled cardboard and you're gonna cut it into a few different shapes. Now, it doesn't have to be uh, any particular shape. Um, I've got some that are rectangular, some that are triangular. You can do circles if you want. But basically, you're just gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut three shapes out of your cardboard. Three different size shapes. Just like this and you can trim up the sides if you want you can make it perfectly rectangular you can have it um, you know a little uneven if you want it's really up to you so again this is uh, these little abstract figures are are our way of um, creating just like Picasso did so if you're not familiar with Picasso he was a really cool artist that did uh, abstract painting um, and we are going to do some abstract figures like he did. He also did some statues, so he did some figures as well. All right, Zoe, you want to cut your cardboard? All right. All right, so I have one, yep, one rectangular piece, and then I'm going to do a real skinny piece. A long, skinny piece. And then I'm going to do a short piece. Sometimes it's hard to cut that cardboard with your scissors, so take your time because we don't want you to cut yourself. I know it's tough work, isn't it? Yeah. All right. So once you have your cardboard cut the way you want it, I'm just going to trim up a little edge here. We're going to paint them. And the reason why we're doing this part first is we need the paint to dry. Now, if you're not using paint and you want to do markers, that's fine. You can do this part now as well before we move on to the paper step. Raina, how's it going out there? Do we have any questions yet? Yes. So we have some kids asking um, what can they use instead of cardboard? Yeah. So you can use anything, you can use paper, that's right, yeah. If you, now it's gonna be a little hard to stand up, so if you're using paper, I would recommend using something like a cardstock that's a little bit more thick. Uh, you can use a cereal box or a cracker box, um, any kind of cardboard from a food item. You have to, um, it, it, 
if it's empty. Right yeah, that's right. Zoe makes a good point. Make sure it's empty before you try to use it. Get yeah. material everywhere. All right. Um, uh, you could probably use like a, a cleaned out milk carton. So if you have a milk carton in your recycle and you want to wash it out and dry right, it and cut right. that. It's like you reuse your rice. That's right. Recycle. You're, you're reusing it. That's exactly right. So we're very good. Recycled stuff. See how there's like numbers on the back. So you can cover that with paper. You can paint over it. This side's nice and clean. Um, I've got a couple here that I'm going to show you on my top down camera. So these are a couple that I painted earlier and I just used, you can see the colors here. So that's this paint, this one, and this one. And, and this is one coat of this Creatology paint. It works really, really well on this cardboard and it dries pretty fast too. All right, so we're going to get ready to paint. I'm going to move my paper to the side and I'm going to put a piece of paper underneath. And I would recommend you guys do the same because you certainly don't want your parents to come in and see paint all over their table. So make sure that you're putting down newspaper or some sort of paper, or you can use another piece of cardboard. So you can just take some of your cardboard that you haven't used, which is what I used earlier, um, and you can just lay it down, put your cardboard pieces on top that you're about to paint. All right. Oh. That's tough stuff, isn't it, Zoe? <laughs> All right. Any other questions, Reina, about cardboard or paint? Yeah. Can they use markers to cover their cardboard instead of paper or paint? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, yeah, you can, if you don't have paint, there are so many things you can use. Um, magic markers, you can use. Magic um, markers, like. Remember when we were on the train? I mean, the, that's well, not that kind of magic, not yeah. the invisible magic markers. Yeah, yeah. Regular, regular markers. Yeah. Regular is good. Washable's better. Until Thank you. I yes. Yes. Until I lose it. Yeah. Uh, you can use crayons. Crayons will work well on cardboard. Um, now, crayons and color pencils might not cover up uh, if it's printed. Well, where's my printed piece? On the back side. But you can always get creative and you can take your markers, your pencils, and you can kind of do doodles on it. You don't have to paint it a flat color like I am. You can doodle around and um, make, it, make it interesting. Give it a pattern. You having problems with your cuts there? Do you want some help? All right, I know this- Can, can they use different shapes? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I'm just using rectangles. Um, that's kind of- just what, what I started with. So you're absolutely, do triangles, you can do weird shapes, you can do stars, hearts. Um, yeah, <gasps> this is tough. I feel like you need a snack or something. <laughs> you do need a snack. Man, working up an appetite over here. Wait, I think I cannot cut this piece. You could tear it? Well, yeah. you're very strong. Okay, all right, so I'm almost done painting this one piece here. So I'm gonna set it aside, let it dry. And you can see it's, it's, um, it's not too thick. You can see the cardboard a little bit through. That's okay, because it's gonna dry really nicely. All right, I'm gonna pet, put my brush aside. The other thing I love about these um, Ecology paint pouches is it's really easy to just put it onto your, um, put it onto your brush. So you can just unscrew the lid, squeeze a little bit out here like this, right onto the brush. And you don't have to dirty a palette or anything. What color are you gonna paint your cardboard, Zoe? You wanna do oh. pink? I know how you love pink. I got purple, orange, pink, and green. Your choice. Black. Black, that wasn't a choice. Black. <laughs> All right. How's everybody doing out there? Let Raina know in the chat. Let her know what shapes some you're doing. Kids from California. I see some from Delaware and from wow. all corners of the United States here. That's awesome. Yeah. They don't have pipe cleaners. Is there something else that they can use? Yeah, so when we get to the part with the pipe cleaners, the pipe cleaners are just, um, you know, to act as the hair and hands 
and um, you can use paper. You can cut out little paper hand shapes or you can make crazy hair. You can use feathers. Um, you can cut little strips of paper and make crazy hair. Um, yeah, you can use all kinds of things for the hair. Wait, I'm gonna make my that. hair out of pom-poms. So the hands will be out of, uh, of the pipe cleaners, but I'm gonna do like, little, like a little fuzzy pom-pom here. All right, let's set you up so you can yeah. start painting. I want black paint. Black paint, all right. Let's do some space here. Alrighty. So what, what other shapes are you guys doing out there? I know I'm doing rectangles, but what are you guys doing? Are you doing anything fun like stars or hearts? We've got rectangle, square, and circle, triangle. Oh. Um, well, Victoria from Texas has a triangle head. Nice, okay. I yeah. Like Do they have to paint on both sides or just one side? Um, it's up to you. I'm going to paint on both sides. So I'm going to do this side and then I, I'm going to take the ones I did earlier and I'm going to paint on the back side. Um, but yeah, it's up to you. It dries, the paint that I have dries really fast. And if you're using markers, then you don't even have to worry about it drying. So. Are you going to give your crafty person a name? Ooh, that's a good question. Are we going to name our abstract figure? Should we give them an abstract type name? Snacks. Snacks? All right. It's always going to call them snacks. I like it. Yep. It's a good name. You really are snack focused right now. All right. Pick your brush and I'll get you some paint. Okay. Pick whichever brush this you want. One. So I'm just using, I didn't show you my brushes actually. I'm using the Creatology uh, paintbrush pack. So I've taken out a whole bunch of them. It's a lot more full than this. There's 18 different brushes in here. Um, there's bristle brushes, there's little small brushes, there's foam, there's a blotter. Um, lots of cool stuff in this pack and it was only like four or five bucks. So um, it pretty much has any kind of brush you're ever gonna need for any craft. So you know, I, I get it because I do all kinds of different things. So I know I've got a brush for whatever I'm doing that way. All right. So just laying on a really good coat here. Again, I'm just putting the paint out onto the brush. Easy cleanup that way. Yeah, and if you guys don't have cardboard or you don't have scissors that'll cut the cardboard and you don't want to use cardboard, that's completely fine. Um, you can take and make a paper figure. I know a lot of people like to make paper figures and those are really easy to make with um, with cardstock or cardboard. I mean, I'm sorry, not cardboard, construction paper. All right, I'm gonna put these aside real fast. So they can dry and then we're gonna get out my other pieces and I'm gonna paint those. All right, Zoe, you're going to get going here with your black paint. Here's your paint. There's your paint. All right. So we're going to paint the back sides. You guys doing okay out there? Got yeah, they're doing good. They're painting. Awesome. All right, so I just cleared off my little paint sheet and I'm gonna put my other pieces on. All right, I, now I have to make sure I'm painting the right, right color here. So I'm gonna check, make sure that's orange. So I'm gonna do my orange next. Clinton right. and Peggy from Thousand Oaks, California say this is really great stuff. They're having a good time. Oh, awesome. That makes me very happy. Really happy you guys joined us today. This is always really exciting uh, when we have a nice big crowd. It's like I said, we're in Texas here, so it's really hot 
and there's only so much time you can spend at the pool or in the yard. Um, so, or just inside. Or just inside, I know. You just can't watch too much TV. You gotta stop and do some crafts. So we really love when you guys join along oh, with I us. Got paint on oh, you got paint on you. You're gonna turn into a paint monster. No. No. All right. Almost done. This is a big piece here that I'm painting. So you can see there is writing here on the edge. I, I forgot to mention it before. I'm about to paint it up. So just make sure if you've got some writing, go over it thicker with your paint and it'll cover that right up. Or like we talked about earlier, you can always incorporate the writing, decor, make it decorative. Um, it's the cool part about being crafty and creative. You can make it whatever you want. All right, so that one's done. I have someone making a chicken robot. Victoria's a making a chicken, chicken robot. Chicken robot? That sounds amazing. I know. Make a kitty that is black. You want to make a black kitty? Of yeah, this course. is its tail. Is that its tail? Okay. Yeah, this is its tail. So we're going to have an abstract black kitty over here, too. And it's its tail first. I like it. Alrighty. That's interesting. What else? Is anybody else making something uh, something specific? Mine's just going to be a regular old abstract figure. We've got Brittany is making a cat. Awesome. I'm making a cat. Yeah, you'll be in good company. Yeah. And what else? Oh, they want to know no, if they can use stickers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, use, you can use stickers straight onto the cardboard um, right away, or if you're going to paint it or color it, just wait until it's dry uh, to put your stickers on. But yeah, that's one of Zoe's favorite things to do is stickers. Stickers or glitter. Yes. Sure. All right, last one here. I know this is tedious, but we got to get the paint part out of the way just in case. It's all right. Paint washes off. Yeah, when you go in the bathroom wash. That's right. Wash it off at the sink and you will be oh, okay. Oh, no, it sticks. All right. All right, last coat here. And then we're gonna move on to our paper pieces. All right, here we are. So I'm gonna set these aside, let them dry. It'll take a little bit of time to dry. You can always put them in front of a fan if you have a fan at home. That'll dry it really fast. Or you can, or you can do it by the the one that you you dried the, the rocks. Oh, that's right. I have a little heat gun. Uh, yeah, it's like a hair dryer. When, when when I went to that 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 unicorn place, you know that yep. unicorn place. Well, well. They use the know. heat the heat dryer to yeah, do it. Yeah. yeah. Those are pretty awesome. Yeah, they are. Back in uh, when I was your age, we used hair dryers all the time to dry oh. things. I know, isn't that funny? Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our card, uh, our, I keep wanting to say cardboard, our construction paper. Uh, and I just took some, some pieces that I've already used. So you can see these are different sizes. That's okay. You don't have to have full sheets. Um, if you have, you know, the big square 12 by 12, that's okay. Can I wait Little scraps. Until this this dries and, and yes. can the other side. Yep. We're going to uh, let that dry. That's a good call. Go wash your hands. Yep. Uh, where can I put the dirty Here, let me have that. All right. Go wash your hands. It's always important to wash off the paint. That way you don't touch anything. All right. So when you're using your card stock or your construction paper, uh, any size will do, any color will do. These are just a few colors that I picked here. And you're just going to cut um, your construction paper into shapes. So again, it's um, this is shape art. It doesn't have to be anything specific. Uh, if you want to make something specific, that's okay. You can make hearts, um, stars. Uh, you can do a series of lines. So I'm just going to go for different lines and textures to kind of make um, my little character stand out. So you can do really skinny pieces like that, or you can do really broad pieces like this. But I would just cut out several different shapes that you think are fun 
And um, when our pieces of cardboard have dried, I'm gonna show you guys, we're gonna glue them onto our character. And they can be like a shirt that's striped, or you can have like a heart or a star, anything you want. You can even do like some zigzag patterns, like, like an Easter egg or something. And then you've got triangles that way. So if you're cutting out a zigzag, check that out. I made some little triangles too. Then you've got a zigzag pattern. All right, so how's everybody, is everybody pretty much done decorating their cardboard or do we still have people decorating cardboard out there? I think we still have people decorating cardboard. We do have some amazing ideas though. We've got someone making a donkey Someone's making a purple elephant. Uh, Jenny wow. is making a purple giraffe. Uh, Nola in Los Angeles is making a cat as well. Awesome. Yeah. And they're wondering how many pieces of construction paper that they need. Oh, um, let's see. I have like two full sheets and two partial sheets. I mean, it really is up to you if you want to use just a few colors. Like if you want to keep your color palette pretty minimal, um, you would only need like one or two pieces of construction paper because you're going to have the color of your paint too. So if you, if you think about it, once you start, um, you know, looking at all the colors you've got going on. Thank you. I'm going to take a drink here. Um, once you start looking at all the colors you've got going on, you know, you could get too many. So I wouldn't go crazy with the construction paper. Um, pick two or three colors that you think go really well with your paints. Um, so I'm going to do the blue. I'm probably not going to do the pink. Zoe might want the pink for her cat. Yep, see, I knew it. Uh, I'm probably going to do this darker orange. This looks really cool with, uh, with all of the paint colors that I picked. And then probably this lime green here. So yeah, again, just like anything we do here on Kids Club, um, you're not really restricted to any one certain, um, you know, material or number. It's all very flexible. It's all about, um, you know, creating something cool with what you've got. Yeah, what's up, Zoe? I'm going to have my, 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 my little pipe cleaners to be like here like this. Oh, you're going to make pipe cleaner hair. I like that. Okay. Because Very it cool. shows that boy with the, the pipe. There you go. Get where everybody can see you. So you're going to make your hair with pipe cleaners? Ah. I think that's a good idea. I like that. Should, what if I'm, what if we make like a mustache with our pipe cleaner? You like that? It almost looks like whiskers. <laughs> yes, that's true. Your cat, your yeah, cat can have it's whiskers. Just that I can't cut it because there's metal. You know what? If you can't cut it, what can you do? Can you ask? For help. Oh, we can ask for help. So maybe you can ask your mama. Mama, that's right. I will be happy to cut your pipe cleaners. Or your dad. Or your dad, that's right. Or your grandma, your grandpa, or your big sister, big brother, aunt and uncle. Ask an adult. If you're having trouble, that is okay to do, isn't it? No. Yeah, all right. Okay, so I'm gonna keep cutting my paper here. Move my paint back out of the way. I, I want to use this to dry it. it. Look, it's almost dry. Look at that. But mama, you see? Please. Just a few shiny it. spots. Look, see, we don't need to dry it. All right, what color do you want now, Zoe? I'm going to cut some more shapes while you think about your colors, all right? I'm going to show these guys a really cool trick. Black. You want, you've already done black. You want to do pink, maybe? All right, so if you guys want to make a heart, you can take a piece of paper and you Just can fold it. Just pink for the whiskers. Okay, pink for the whiskers. Oh, and You can mama, fold it in half. Can we make a bow? You can fold it in half like this. And then you're going to cut up toward the edge and you're going to make like a half circle like this all the way back down. So see how I rounded out the corner like this? And then you're going to go Keep going all the way around and turn your paper and then you're going to cut toward this point down here like that. And it looks kind of like a teardrop. But when you open it up, there's a heart. So if you guys want to cut out some hearts, 
for your little abstract figure, there's how you do a heart. You can do a star kind of similarly. If you wanted to do stars, you can cut circles like that. It's easier sometimes to cut a circle in a half circle than it is to cut it um, freehand. All right, Zoe, you want some pink paint? Mm -hmm. Okay. For what? For your whiskers, remember? Yeah. All right, there's your pink paint. All right, how's everybody doing out there? Are we almost done with the cardboard? They are, they are having a great time. Okay. Can they, um, can they color their paper with marker instead of using Oh paper? yeah, absolutely, yep. Yeah, if you have, if you just have like one or two types of paper and you want, you want some more options, you can color it. If you only have white paper, uh, you can color that anything you want. You can draw shapes and pictures on the white paper and like trace them and color them in and then you can cut those out. Cool. All right, so I'm going to cut a few more little shapes here. I'm going to do some triangles because I really like, I've got a lot of squares going on with my cardboard, so I want to make sure I've got something interesting and different. I'm going to do some triangles. I think Zoe's making a bow tie for no, her cat. It's oh, a girl. oh, it's a bow for her head. I am sorry. It's a girl. It's a girl. All right. Okay. Let's check our paper pieces or our paint pieces. They're still looking kind of wet, so you guys can tell. You can tell if they're wet because they're going to have that shine to it. So don't stick your finger in it or you'll have a fingerprint. So just keep letting it dry. It takes a little bit of time, like I said. Oh, Zoe put her finger in it. That's okay. Sometimes we stick our finger in paint. Can they use string? Painting. All right. Can they use string to make shapes? Do what? Can they use string to make shapes? String? Yeah, I don't know, like maybe like gluing it on absolutely. or using it with a paint or something? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You can use string, uh, you can glue it on, tape it on. Uh, you can lay it in the paint while it's wet and then pull it out and make fun shapes in the paint, like fun designs. You can use yarn. I'm gonna do some little squiggles here. All right, so you can see here I've got a whole variety of shapes going on with my paper. And again, there's no rules. Oh, look, here's the bow for the kitty. I want this one too. You want the heart? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's for the Here's the kitty. Oh, Jen, hold on. We lost your, your audio there for a second. Okay. Can you hear me now? We can hear you now. You're good. Awesome. Okay. So here's the bow we've got here that we're going to put on the kitty. And I was just saying that we've got all different kinds of shapes. Um, so no rules for the shapes here. Just make cool shapes according to, uh, you know, what your little critter is going to look like. I think I'm going to pick one more color just to keep it interesting. All right. I really want to do some stripes. I think that would be pretty fun. So I'm going to just cut some little strips out here like this. And uh, we're going to glue these on, but never fear. If you don't have glue, you can always use tape. If you don't have tape or glue, you can always draw your shapes onto your um, person. That's okay too. All right. Now, those. All right. And I think it would be pretty fun. I think I'm actually going to decorate some of these too with just some interesting lines 
You can do things with markers and pens that you can't do with. Did you lose your scissors? Here, let's look under here. There they are. All right. You can do things with markers and pens that you can't easily do with cutting out paper. So this works nicely. I'm just gonna do like a like a cross hatch pattern because you can't really do that cutting very easily. What are some other things you guys are putting on here? Are you gluing anything cool? Like I'm gonna put googly eyes on mine later and some pom poms. Are you using anything else? I heard you're using string, so that's cool. What else are you guys using out there? Oh goodness. Foam shapes, perler beads. Yes. Printer paper and markers. They want to know how to make a star. Can you make a star, Jen? A star? Yeah. Like a star? <sighs> okay. Let's see, Zoe's giving me my pep talk already. Okay, All right. Here, here's the easiest way to do a star. Okay. So I'm just going to draw a star on one side of the paper like this and then cut it out and then you can flip it over. So it'll be all pretty on one side and you won't have to see your drawing. There, there, there are ways you can fold your paper and cut them, but I'm telling you now that that's not my specialty. I will not make a very pretty star if I try that. So I'm gonna show you the method that works best for me. We've got people using feathers and ribbon. Oh, I like the feather idea. I do too. Feathers. We could have made a feathery figure. Maybe I next time. Feathers on my cat. Oh no. That just makes it sound like maybe he's had a snack. <laughs> maybe it was not. <laughs> Why not? We'll do feathers next time. Maybe we'll make a maybe, bird. Maybe we can make a cat toy. Oh, a cat toy. That's right. Feathers are often found on cat toys. Ouch. Okay. Very true. Here's our star. Oh, Oh, go wash your hands then. No problem. All right, lots of hand washing going on here. Got to stay clean, keep that pain away. Okay. All right, so we've got our heart, we've got stars, we've got stripes. I made a little pattern. I was going to make some more doodles here on this one. Again, I'm just doing some silly stuff with the pen just to make interesting. You can just make all kinds of interesting things that look really neat. And this is about, you know, the interesting part of art doesn't have to be that you're identifying something. So it doesn't have to, you know, be a cat or a snail or an apple. Sometimes there can be a lot of cool creativity found in just doing some really cool shapes focusing on your colors, some interesting angles. Look at this. Yeah. All right, are you done with here? Make sure you keep your little animal out of the paint. It'd be really sad if you got paint on them. All right, what are you gonna do to your cat? Um, it's not dry. Oh, you gotta dry it, okay. I know, that's the hardest part about this is uh, waiting for the paint to dry. Time. I know it takes a long time. Let's but look at mine is let's look at our done. paint. All right. Mine is almost done. Yeah. It's like it's Zoe's like, is way better. Look at that. Zoe's just has one or two little spots. No, it has three little three spots. Three little spots. Mine's still see? got a little bit. Mama, going on. See? One, two, three. Yep. More like all right. So four. next I'm gonna start making my hands. So I've got my shapes. So I'm just gonna put my shapes to the side here kind of clean up some of my scrap pieces. So I've got some, some jagged pieces, some smooth pieces. I've got my cross hatching. Let's see, is this your this star? Four. Um, that's just a paper clip. All right, so now I'm gonna make the hands out of some pipe cleaners. So let's see, I think I'm gonna pick yellow, purple. Do you want, you want some pipe cleaners, Zoe, for your whiskers? Oh, um, I want, a purple one. You want the purple one? Yeah. <clears throat> All right. You can have the purple one. And I think I'm going to give my little guy an orange mustache. Orange mustache? Yeah. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to take the ends and I curl them around my fingers like this. Just curl them Ooh. in, curl them in Can like I this. Try that? Yep. I want a pink you want a pink one? one? Okay, so once they're curled in like this, you can kind of uncurl it just a little bit. And see, bend up the middle. It makes a really fun mustache. All right. And then you can kind of give it some hands. And I'm just gonna make some silly looking little clown hands here. They don't have to be perfect. And if you're doing like a cat, you can make whiskers or a dog with a tail. Um, or a dog without a tail. Or a dog without a tail. There are dogs without tails. Yeah. You can make some ears yeah. with these. All right, so there's one of my Look hands. at my mustache. Oh, you got a curly here. Let me show. Look, Zoe's got a curly mustache. That's a good one. I like Thanks. that. Just made it. You did just make it. If you're doing a dinosaur, you could make, you know, dinosaur feet out of the, the pipe cleaners. All right. How are you guys using your pipe cleaners to decorate for those of you that have pipe cleaners? We've got some people saying they're making hands turtle hands. Turtle hands, Look. nice. <laughs> Very nice. I know. Ears, antennae, that's a big word for a kid. Um, let's see, hair. Oh yeah. Yeah, normally I would make the hair out of the pipe cleaners, but I was uh, getting ready and I found these cool um, pom-poms, these fuzzy pom-poms. So I think I'm going to make my hair out of the pom-poms. What if I get one of the pipe cleaners and I put them right here and then I get one of the pom-poms. And put it in and the then, middle? Yeah. And yeah. Like, like a ponytail? Like a ponytail. I think that would be a really like good decoration. I like that. We've got someone, we've got Kaylin is making a crown with her pipe cleaners. Oh, oh that's awesome. I like that idea. What, what else are you guys making with your pipe cleaners? Henry is making a hand so he can high five his his abstract figure. Very cool. A mouse. Um, a mouse. A, a, somebody is making spectacles for their figure. They're making glasses. Yep, I like it. I think I'm gonna make an ice cream cone. A flower. <laughs> you like that idea? A bow. This is so cute. Oh, a bow. Yeah, we got a bow over here too. Zoe. Zoe's cat's gonna have a bow. What color ice cream should we have? You want pink, pink, pink ice cream? Yeah. How did I know you were gonna say that? You did it. Did I not? I think I did. No, you did All right, so I just folded uh, one of the pipe cleaners into a triangle and then I'm gonna put... And look, I got glued up. You put glue on your pipe cleaner? Yeah. Oh man. I made it into a shape. It's not a craft with Zoe until there's glue. Oh yeah, I like your shape. Thanks. It's not really a shape, but I like it. So I just tied one end here to the corner of the, tr the short side of the triangle. You're going to do the other one like that. Like this. And then I'm just going to make some little like a cloud, make it like bumpy ice cream that just poured out onto this cone. That's all I can think about because it's so hot, ice cream cones. All right, so there's my ice cream cone. So my little figure can hold this ice cream. I think I can make an ice cream cone, just watch me. All right, so are we gonna, are we gonna give your cat legs, Zoe? Yeah, I just have to wait for it to dry. It's okay, dry. I'm going to take some pieces. And Mama, here's I'm something not... else I was going to tell you guys. Mama, why did you do that? I'm, I'm going to make legs for your cat. Oh. Watch. So something else I was going to tell you guys is you can, um, you can paint your cardboard and then you can cut it, or you can cut your cardboard and then paint it. I chose to paint it after I cut it. Um, 
just because I was making different colors, but like Zoe is doing one color, so it was all right to paint the whole thing. It was actually easier to paint the whole thing first. So for those of you whose cardboard has dried, or mostly dried in this case, um, I'm gonna show you how to start making some legs or how to put these cardboard bodies together. Here, wait just a second. So you've got your cardboard body and you're just gonna take one of your pieces and cut a little, a little cut up into the cardboard and don't don't cut all the way through it so make so see how my scissors are going all the way across you don't want to do that you just want to do a little way into your cardboard cut a little notch and then where you want that to be on the body you're going to cut a corresponding little notch and then you can stick the two pieces together like this and just be real careful kind of wiggle it in there oh mom that was my tail okay i'll make you a new tail all right all right so see can you guys see sorry my my screen is kind of freezing up here are you able to see this reina Yes, I can see it. Can you hear me now? Oh, Jen, I think we lost your audio again. Hold on one okay. second. We can, we can still see your video. Okay, and, great. And your audio is back now, so you're good. Okay, perfect. So I was just saying, you cut a notch here in, the, in one side and you cut a notch in the other side and then you can just slide the two together. And that, that's what attaches your cardboard pieces. So when you're starting to put your figure together, that's how we're putting it together. So for this cat, it's gonna allow it to stand up like this. It's gonna act like a little stand. And then we can do the, um, we can add the tail and all that stuff. So see though, now it's got little feet on it. And I'm gonna do another little foot. So again, I'm just taking a piece of the cardboard and you're not going to cut all the way through it. Don't cut like this. You're just going to cut a little way into the cardboard. And then you're going to take the corresponding piece that you want it to go in. You want to cut it? Okay, no problem. So you're just going to put it right there and it's going to be real hard, but you got to cut real hard, okay? You see? Cut, 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 cut. It's really hard sometimes. There we go. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to make it a little bit deeper. All right. So then you have your piece that you cut and you, you just attach the two pieces that you've, where you've cut the slits. Be real careful because the cardboard's going to want to bend. So if it, if it doesn't want to go the way you want it to, you might try to take it back out and cut it. So now you see you've got your attached pieces and you can stand it up just like this. So now the cat can stand. All right, I'm gonna move your cat over here and I'm gonna get my, my little figure. Looks like it's almost dry. So have you guys started putting your figure together yet? Or are you guys still decorating and cutting papers? I think we've got a lot of people still decorating. We've got some of them asking what can they use if they don't have pom-poms. Oh, um, if, well, so you can use um, little strips of paper. So. If you take little pieces of paper like this, you can actually glue them together and make hair. Or let me show you another cool way to do this. Um, here we go. So I'm going to take a longer piece of paper. It'll be easier to show you. So let's say you want to make some hair out of this. So you're going to, you're going to cut most of the way into the paper. So you leave about like half an inch at the top. And that, so like think about how wide your thumb is. And then you're just gonna cut another little strip up to there and you're gonna do that all the way across the paper. Just a little bit apart from each other. Like maybe the width of a pencil or less. Just depends on how big you want your hair. All right, 
And now, so check that out. You've got cool hair. And you can bend it like this. You could even make a little grass skirt. It's like a hula skirt. Oh. I know, isn't that cool? All right, so then the other thing you can do is you can take a pencil. Let's see if I have a pencil. Or you can cut that. I'll use a pen. Or you can cut that thing and make something else out of the stripes. That's thing. true, you can. You can curl it around a pencil or a pen and give it like some curl. So you can have curly hair if you have curly hair. Like Zoe has kind of curly hair. So but that would look like you. That's that true. Your hair, green. your hair's not green. Yeah, but that looks like me. You can even make like a fun little hat. This looks like a chef's hat. So if you curl it and then bend it the opposite way, you could give your little character like a hat. So if you don't have pom poms, if you don't have um so if you don't have uh, the pipe cleaners either, that's another thing you can do is let's say you want to you want to make hands and you don't have pipe cleaner. I'm just going to square that up. So you can just cut. Mama, I, I want to have the ice cream. Cut cone. a little. You want the ice cream cone? Yeah. No problem. Cut a little hand like this. And again, these are abstract, so you don't have to make them perfect or if you're making like a dinosaur or a dragon you can cut out like dragon feet dinosaur feet um, so don't worry if you don't have pipe cleaners you don't have pom-poms that's okay you could even make a mustache out of paper if you're putting a mustache on your your critter um, you can uh, you can do most of this with paper and markers all right so it looks like my pieces are almost done so what I'm gonna do, so now I've got both sides painted. You don't have to paint both sides. Zoe's cat's only a one-sided black cat. He's like a two-tone cat, I guess. Um, you're gonna take your, your cardboard pieces once they're dry and you can kind of waft them back and forth to dry them more if you're, if you're not happy with how dry they are. And then I'm going to make a cut down at the top because I'm gonna put this tall piece next to it. So you can see this is gonna be the base part and then I'm gonna stick this one all the way down and it's gonna go all the way down to the bottom because I wanna make sure that it'll stand up. And if you want, you can actually add little pieces at the bottom. So if you just wanted to, if you wanted to put this up here up high and you didn't wanna go all the way to the bottom with it, you can actually cut little pieces out and make little feet at the bottom, kind of like we did with Zoe's cat. Zoe, let me show your cat again. So see how we put the little pieces at the bottom? So from top down, you can kind of see these are gonna hold your structure up that way. All right, there you go. You can have your cat back. Okay. So I'm gonna take my cardboard. Man. I think I found a not dry spot. All right, I'm gonna dry it off a little bit more. Raina, do you have any more questions while we're super drying? I do. So um, somebody's asking if there's anything they can use if they don't have glue or tape. Yep. So what specifically are you trying to put together with the glue or the tape? Are you trying to put the, the hand think, on? I think they might be trying to put the shapes their construction paper shapes on to oh, oh, oh. Their cardboard. Uh, if you're trying to okay so if you don't have glue and you don't have tape you could use paint to attach but you're gonna have to be really careful it's a delicate balance of not so much paint that it makes your paper crumple but if you put too little then it's not going to stick but paint is sticky so when you paint something on if you lay a piece of paper into it um, it will stick. So if you don't have tape, don't have paint, uh, do that. If you don't, if you don't have any of those things, then I think you're better off going with a thick cardstock and just decorating that with markers and then cutting out your shapes and then doing um, the intersections like we did with the cat, where you're cutting slices into it and just sticking it together that way. Yeah. And then what's the best way to attach pipe cleaners to the cardboard? 
Okay, so the pipe cleaners, now if you look at my top down here, I want to show you. So pipe cleaners have metal in them. So you can see here in the end that little black dot. And cardboard has holes in it. So that you can just poke your pipe cleaner down into the cardboard like this. And that's how I'm going to attach my hands is actually just sticking the pipe cleaner down into the edge of the cardboard. And you can do that and then you can bend it once you've entered the pipe cleaner into the cardboard. So see, I was able to make put that on there while it was stuck into the side of the cardboard. If you're using string, it becomes a little bit more difficult. Oh, and a neat trick with string. So if you don't have a pipe cleaner, and you still want to make something kind of like this where it's a shape and it's stiff, you can actually take like a piece of plastic and you can take some string or some yarn and you can put it in some white Elmer's glue like this and you can make it into a shape on the piece of plastic and let it dry. And when it dries, that glue is gonna hold the string in whatever position you put it in. So it won't be like a pipe cleaner where you can bend it and change the shape, but it is going to keep its shape um, just by having that glue on it. So that's something else you can do. If you don't have a pipe cleaner, you can still make shapes if you have string or yarn work. Both of those work pretty good. And, and oh, sorry. Oh, I just, any other questions? Yeah, so they wanna know if they can write words on what on yeah. their figure? Absolutely. So again, I'm going to get super art nerdy on you here. Um, you know, some of the things that the um, abstract artists would do is they would take the cubist specifically, um, you know, they would take things like newspapers and uh, everyday items and they would paint them in unusual ways. So oftentimes cubist art has letters and words in them. So that would be perfectly acceptable for you guys to do, um, put some words on your, on your abstract figure. Um, and Danielle wants us to know that it is their 50th birthday today. Wow, congratulations. You said Danielle? Yeah, Danielle, it's her 50th birthday. Congratulations, that is very awesome. Thank you for spending it with us. That's so nice, my goodness. And is there any way to make bunny ears? Because someone's making a bunny. Bunny ears out of paper, bunny ears out of pipe cleaners. Uh, she didn't say. Okay, so yes, the, the short answer is yes, is always yes. Um, for the paper, let me find my piece of paper here. All right, so for the paper, here's a better piece. Cut a section um, into a rectangle. And I would just, so I would start my ears with the outside of the shape. So the ear, bunny ears kind of go out. So I'm gonna make kind of like a balloon out from the bottom and then I'm gonna come back in. So you can see it's kind of tapered down at the end that goes next to the head. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to the other end and I'm now gonna carve out the, the individual ears. So I'm gonna start at the top and I'm gonna come round it in and I'm gonna come down not quite all the way to the bottom. And then you're gonna cut across just a little bit, not too far, about the width of your other ear here. And then you're gonna make the same thing where you come out and then you're going to round it out. Now I've made two different types here. So let me show you you can do two different kinds of bunny ears. You can do a pointy bunny ear, or you can do a rounded bunny ear. So this is a little bit more like cartoons. Like if you watch Simon, he's got like these balloon ears, and then Bugs Bunny, he has more of these pointy ears. So just up to you. And then I left a little piece down here at the bottom so that if you're gluing it onto your piece of cardboard, you have actually something to glue or tape it to so that now the bunny ears stick out like they're supposed to but you have a little bit of space that you, you have to glue it on. So again, you can do a rounded ear, you could do a pointy ear, it's up to you. And then of course, as we all know, with bunnies, oftentimes they have 
the middle part, which you can draw or color in. Um, and they have pink noses. Do they have pink noses? That's I probably think. true. Most bunnies probably have a pink nose. I think all bunnies. Oh, have all bunnies. All right, any other questions? Um, no, we have one person asking how to make a fish or a starfish. So a starfish, I would just use the same method I showed for the star where you draw a star on the back of the paper, but I would just round out the corners. So instead of making them super pointy, just round them out and that, that'll be your easy starfish. All right, so I'm gonna put my, my character together here because we're gonna run out of time otherwise. So I'm gonna cut halfway through my cardboard. And then this is the piece that I'm gonna use to intersect. So I'm just laying it down against my cut and I need to cut this far in to my purple one. So you can kind of see. And then again, once you have your cuts, you're just gonna slide them, slide each cut into the other. Just be really careful because the cardboard is soft and it's gonna wanna kinda tear if you're not careful. There we go. So see, now I have my, it's kinda hard to see top down, but now he's standing up. And then I'm gonna take my green piece here and I'm gonna put it on the top. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Actually, I think I'm gonna do it long ways. That way it kinda has a little bit of a Make it like his head or something. Oh, look, I made a crown. Oh, your crown looks beautiful. Can you show them? Yeah, look here. Zoe made a beautiful crown. That looks Aww. really good. All right. Can I wash your hands yep, now? go wash your hands. Always good to wash, wash your hands. It. Yeah, you got sticky glue all over them. It's a good day with glue. All right, so <laughs> then I've connected the top part here. So, like we talked about, this is where we can put the hands into the side. So all you have to do, now you can make this the, the side with the hands or you can put them up here. Again, this is your figure. I'm just going to poke it down inside the cardboard, just like this, and then do a little bending. I think this one I'm going to give like a mitt. Maybe it's cold outside or something. And then this side, I'm gonna put it up here. Oops, sorry, wrong spot. All right, there we go, up here. And then make a loop. There's his other mitt. There we go. All right, and this is the part where you can, you can decorate his hair. So again, you can glue some paper on. So I think maybe I'll do a combo here. So I'm going to show you guys. Just put a little piece of glue along here. Glue it on like this. Then you can put your pom-poms on. So if you've got pom-poms, you're just going to put a little bit of glue and stick them down. You don't have to be careful because this will want to um, move with gravity. So just make sure that it's flat. Just going to do a little line of pom-poms here for his hair. And then if you have googly eyes, we're going to put the googly eyes on next. If you don't have googly eyes, that's okay. You can draw them on or you can cut out paper. I'm going to move this out of the way. All right. So see, I've glued my, my hair on here. And now I'm going to do some eyes. I'm not going to make them super even. I'm going to do a purple eye and a red eye. Go. And let's see. I think let's give them an orange nose. So I'm just gonna put the nose here like this. There we go. 
so you can see his nose. Actually, I think I might do the other side too. I'm making polka dots. You're making polka dots. Oh my God. I love polka dots. All right. There he has a, it's like a bird actually. Look at this. This little guy looks like a bird. Maybe we'll call him, we can call him Beaky. Or Birdie. Or Birdie. All right. Now we can put our shapes on. Or so. you can make little chicks. Oh, I can make little chicks? Yeah. And you can get one of those and, and you can get fairy wings. Oh, I can make them. As, and put them as like, like feet. Baby, and, make and, baby chicks. Yeah, and then you put eyes on. I like that. All right, so what I'm going to do here, actually, let me move this up just okay. a little bit so you can see. All right, so I'm going to do, uh, this is rapid application here. Man, I got paint all over me, Zoe. You like me. I know, I look like some sort of spotted art bird. All right, so I'm going to take my glue stick, and I've laid out my little pieces here. And so the easiest thing to do, instead of doing them individually, is I'm just going to go across all of them with my glue. And then I'll be able to stick them all down into a pattern. So this is what I was talking about earlier, where if you just cut your shapes, you can do your patterns like this. I'm gonna I'm gonna trim these up so it's okay if they go off the side because I'm just trying to go for like a striped pattern here. I'm gonna do the opposite end. I'm just gonna make some stripes like this. Just like that. All right. So where your paper hangs off the edges, no problem. Just gonna take your scissors and cut along the line. Ta-da! And then it evens them up. All right, how's everybody doing, Raina? Are they almost done with their figure? I yeah, I'm seeing a lot of kids who are done. They said it was super fun. They love this class. They love painting and coloring. So fantastic. All yeah. right. All right, guys. So there we go. We have our figure. Oh, look here. Zoe's cat has spots. Check that out. It's like a Halloween cat. I like that. Can I make it as a decoration for home? Of course you can. I made spots with this. I know. I love your spots. Thanks. All right. All right, guys. So thank you so much for joining us today. I am super happy that you spent your Sunday afternoon with us. Um, and we hope that you'll join us again. Uh, we're having camp every day for 21 days. Here, stand up. We're going to say bye. We're having camp uh, every day for 21 days. So uh, they're all free. And a lot of them use uh, materials that you have at home. And just like today, if, if there's anything that you don't have or you want ideas for something, um, you know, that's a little different than what we're doing, don't be afraid to ask. That's okay. Um, you know, we're super excited that you guys joined us. If you want, you can share a picture of what you've done here. So you can take a picture of your figure and you can share it. See above me, it says hashtag make it with Michaels. We would love to see what you guys have done. Uh, so you're welcome to share that on social media if you want. Yep. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much. Um, again, happy Sunday and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks, Jen. Bye. Thank you, Rena. See you guys.